Donald Trump has confirmed that he will not take part in Republican presidential debates with his rivals in the race for the White House. The ex president said one latest poll showed he had legendary numbers ahead of other hopefuls to be the party's nominee for the 2024 election. The public knows who I am an amp. What a successful presidency I had Mr. Trump 77 wrote in a post on social media. The first Republican presidential primary debate will be on 23rd of August. Voting in the Republican primary election begins in the state of Iowa on January 15, 2024. Recent polls have consistently shown that Mr. Trump who faces a number of criminal charges is currently the front-runner for the Republican nomination. In a post on his Truth Social platform on Sunday Mr. Trump wrote new CBS poll just out has me leading the field by legendary numbers. He added that several other contenders including Florida Florida Governor Ron DeSantis were lagging far behind. The U.S. broadcaster's poll showed Mr. Trump leading the field on 62% far ahead of his nearest challenger Mr. DeSantis who sat on 16%. The public knows who I am an AMP. What a successful presidency I had with energy independence strong borders and AMP. Military biggest ever tax and AMP. Regulation cuts no inflation strongest economy in history and AMP. Much more. I will therefore not be doing the debates in recent months. Mr. Trump had repeatedly suggested that he would not join the Republican debates. He had cited polls that showed him leading other candidates by seemingly insurmountable numbers and had complained that proposed moderators and venues might be hostile towards him. Other Republican presidential hopefuls have so far not commented on the latest developments. Donald Trump, America's 45th president in 2017 to 21, has been criminally indicted four times and will have a series of trials to attend in 2024 as he runs again for the White House he describes the charges against him as a political witch hunt. The charges could in theory lead to substantial prison time if Mr. Trump is convicted. But the logistics, security and politics of jailing a former president mean a conventional prison sentence is seen as unlikely by many experts.